Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 247 I'm here to give you guys today a Final Cut Pro tutorial on how to export in HD using versions 10.0.6 and 10.0.7 of Final Cut Pro. For some reason, Apple decided they wanted to change the way you export in Final Cut Pro. It's not the same process as it used to be. So I'm just going to walk you guys through the process for those new users who are trying to figure this out like I was. So first what you want to do is you want to open up Final Cut Pro and what you notice is that in the top menu bar the share um, option is now gone. What they've done is basically they took a more iOS approach and added the share button inside Final Cut Pro. But I'll walk you guys through that um, in this tutorial um, like I said. So what you want to do is you want to uh, make a new timeline but I'm going to make a new event since I have a new timeline. I'm just going to call this... Um, testing uh, one just a random idea but you can name it wherever you want to for you and what we want to do is you want to import our media and basically a Final Cut Pro, these new versions of Final Cut Pro did is basically you took the standard file browser and they just made it into a same window that you would import from a camera or from an iPad from so basically what you want to do is you want to navigate to any of your favorite directories um, that you have here you can drag these in uh, via um, the max interface but I won't go through that in this video but basically what you want to do is you want to navigate to your file mine's right here I just downloaded this off the internet and basically uh, you can preview this using the spacebar you can see if this is the right file if it's a mistake or not you can just skip over it but this is the only file that I have that I'm going to use for this video so I'm going to hit import selection uh, give it a name if you want but I'm going to leave mine as the default and it's pointing to the new event we just created so I'm going to hit import and it should take very quickly um, since it's a small file size but if you guys have big videos it might take a couple minutes or even a few hours depending on how much footage you have so this is my footage right here and now um, we're just gonna drag this into the timeline let me just drag this here so drag it into the timeline and do any normal editing you normally would do uh, add any effects or titles but I'm just gonna leave it as is so when you're done you could come over here to this action button the same type of action button that you, button that you see in iOS you want to click it and from now on uh, this would be the way you export your video now by default the export file icon isn't already right here I had to add that manually so what you have to do to add that is it you have to go to add destination and this is where Apple has decided to keep any additional um, points that you can save. Um, you can add things like make it a DVD, a Blu-ray, an email, YouTube, etc. But what's also good is that say you don't want to import to video, you can just drag Vimeo out and it could, um, or you could highlight it and hit the a minus button and it gets rid of that so you don't have to worry about that selection ever coming in again so to add export file you just click and then hit the plus button and it brings that in right for you but since I already have it I don't need to do that so what we want to do is we want to hit um, the share button uh, export file and this is where uh, the new export thing comes in. You get a nice little um, pop-up cover flow type um, interface right here that you can uh, preview your movie before you export it. Um, this movie is in 720p HD because that's why I have my project save at. When you make a new project, uh, make sure you change the resolution. If you want a full HD movie, make sure you change your resolution in that. If you want your resolution to always be 720p like I do because it's pretty small and the quality is just as good. Uh, make sure it's saved at that file as well. Uh, you also get some information about your audio, uh, the time about your movie, and the file format that's good to be into. And it gives you a rough estimation of what um, your file size is going to be. Uh, you can add uh, creators if you want here. And also you can give it tags to separ separate it out. So I'm going to add a new tag called uh, Final Cut Pro. Right here, comma, and then... Uh, YouTube right here so just add, add tags to make it easier on yourself and if you go over to the settings tab this is where it gets important make sure you have the video and the audio selected because you want both your audio and your video when you're making a YouTube video or when you're doing a movie uh, the video Kodak for uh, YouTube, the way I recommend is that normally I think it's on Apple ProRes 422 but you want to change that to H.264 um, the resolution is going to be what your project is set at. Like I said before, if you want your project to be 720p, set your project to be at the resolution for 720p. If you want it to be 1080p, uh, change your uh, resolution settings in your project uh, properties to be uh, 1920 by 1080. 
um, QuickTime AEC format is the audio and all this is just what it's going to do after it's done exporting. So we're going to hit next. It's going to ask us where we want to save it. I'm just going to throw it on my desktop and hit save. And what it should do is that, um, it's as you can see, it's not doing anything. But what's going on in the background is if you hit this little timer button right here, it brings up your um, sharing and render settings right here. So you can tell that it's exporting out. So I'll let you guys watch this in real time. So that's pretty much done. So what's going to happen now is that Final, uh, Final Cut Pro will open QuickTime. And now you can upload this to YouTube, post it on your website, uh, do whatever it is you want to do with this video when you're done. But that's how you export your video in HD using the newest versions of Final Cut Pro. Uh, leave, me, uh, leave me any questions out below if you have any. And I will see you guys in the next video.